thank each of you for coming out. I'd like to thank the Harborfront Community Center for allowing us to launch this year's Be Ascent into a Senior Program. Additional thanks will go out to the Duke of Westminster, Sydney Wilson, Sarah Platt, uh, for providing refreshments and such. We all know there's no shortage of seniors who would benefit from our Santa to Senior program. At holiday time, when it comes to gifts, we think primarily of children. But let's not forget that there are countless seniors who are isolated, alone, or maybe separated from their families who may live far away. Be a Santa to a Senior is a program that puts gifts in the hands of seniors during the festive season. The seniors who receive gifts are an important part of our community, and we think it's great that retailers, offices, volunteer organizations, and the communities support such a program. Over the past six years, we've had many, many offices across Canada and the United States taking part, and during that time, our Be a Santa to a Senior has collected and distributed 1.2 million gifts that have been donated to over 700,000 seniors. Here in Toronto, we're doing our part each and every year, and the number of gifts seems to increase annually. I don't, we just had a call to our office yesterday where one office is going to be donating 100 gifts, so that's terrific. And what I would like to do is now turn the floor over to Tom Chichmack, who will introduce our guest, Mr. Julian Fantino. Thank you, Bruce. When Julian Fantino was police chief in Toronto, and later when he was OPP commissioner, he was all, always a big supporter of seniors. In the past few years, he's helped us uh, with the launch of the Be Santa to a Senior Program here in the GTA. I'm honored that he is back with us again this year. Mr. Fantino was commissioner of the OPP from 2006 until his recent retirement. He was also police chief of uh, Toronto Police from 2000 to 2005. And before that, he was chief of the London Police and the York Regional Police. It's my understanding that he is the only person who has led four different police forces. Everybody, please welcome Julian Fantino. Tom, and good morning, everyone. It's indeed a great honor, even more than that, a pleasure to be with you once again for what I consider to be one of the highlights of the holiday season, something that uh, is uh, taken for granted by a lot of people, families, children, and uh, sometimes we forget about uh, the elderly component of our society and uh, those of us that are getting up in years. I like to believe that uh, whatever time we invest in these programs, whatever effort we make, uh, whatever volunteering we do in support of seniors is really an investment in our own quality of life as all of us at some point in time uh, will become older, our health holds together, and hopefully we can be as independent as we can uh, to the extent that with some help uh, by, by uh, the home instead type of, uh, of organization we can all uh, enjoy quality of life. And, and my more recent experience uh, interacting with seniors, I do some volunteering, my wife does as well with seniors. Uh, the thing that comes home to me is how much we need to be grateful for the contribution that our seniors have made and the good things that we so much enjoy today and take for granted. And, uh, uh, that's my uh, offering about showing respect and showing appreciation for all the good things that really are a blessing in our uh, in our society, in our communities, and in our families, and never ever allow us to look at seniors in a rear view mirror as we go forward doing our day to day thing. So um, the campaign, uh, the 2010 launch, uh, is really one more very positive program that uh, does in fact showcase the importance of, of highlighting seniors and the Home Instead the Senior Care, an organization that provides home care and companionship services for seniors, is that one element of uh, enhancing the quality of life for these people, of course, for seniors. And these services are important because they do allow 
seniors to live independently at home or in some measure of care in a facility of, uh, of care. And we can uh, never underestimate the contribution seniors make to society and the value they bring to our lives. And I just uh, look at my own grandchildren and uh, how much they are attached to their grandparents and how important the grandparents are in their lives. So it's, it's really a, a, a renewal of my appreciation for humanity to see uh, the value of seniors in, in everyday life. And it's truly important for us to recognize that. But this year in particular has been a rough year economically and many seniors have felt the pinch and I, I certainly hear that these days as well. And during the holiday season, too many seniors are forgotten. However, Be a Santa to a Senior is a great program because it focuses on a segment of society that is often left out. And I applaud Home Instead Senior Care for organizing this program. I've been very proud and privileged to be part of it over the last few years. And I'm really honored, as I indicated, to be part of this year's kickoff as well. Now, there are there's always people behind wonderful initiatives, obviously. And uh, in that regard, uh, I think it's important for us to highlight the fact that uh, uh, Home Instead uh, Seniors Care has embraced this as a corporate program. So there's many people in the organization and, and within their various uh, homes, if you will, that are making this program a success and a great benefit to seniors, and I think it's all uh, for the good of, of humanity indeed. And these are some of the folks that are here today. Uh, and I'd like to introduce the, them now. Uh, Home Instead uh, Senior Care Officers in the GTA, Smith of Scarborough. This young lady never ever frowns or smiles. <laughs> she has a most beautiful, lovely smile. And I just, Stop, please, please. <laughs> Sharon Galloway of North York. Sharon. Another happy, smiling face. Kevin Chen of Thornhill. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you very much. Uh, Bruce Mahoney and, uh, of the Toronto and the Beach. And I think uh, Joan Simon is here as well. Uh, uh, Hurd of Mississauga. Another happy guy. Tom Churchamack of uh, the Halton Region. Just in closing, folks, uh, I know that uh, we're all living very busy lives. Uh, there are many priorities in our lives, day in and day out, but uh, I just want to emphasize what I feel is, is a duty and a responsibility for all of us to not only support programs like be a Santa to a senior, but also to spend time with them, quality time. Their, their world becomes more and more limited, and their ability to network widely is, is shrunk significantly. So they can't get around as much, although there are huge uh, efforts made to get them and normalize their life as much as can be done in, in whatever circumstance. But I think the big plus for all of us is to, to visit, to interact, to spend time with them, and to, uh, to volunteer. Not everything we do uh, needs to have a paycheck attached to it. But that's important, absolutely. We have to have people that uh, can dedicate their lives uh, as a career, as a, as employment, but also I find that the thank you you get, the most immediate uh, reward, uh, the most uh, impressive, uh, uh, uplifting thing that I feel certainly strikes me is when you know you've touched someone in a very positive way and that they've appreciated it and, and they give you a very sincere thank you. So. Thank you to all of you who do whatever, in whatever capacity, be it employed, uh, be it in a leadership position with home instead, uh, uh, custom care, uh, senior care, or whether you, you customize programs that are intended to support and, and to deliver quality of life uh, measures of, of sorts to our seniors. So thank you very much. And I say that uh, at the very same time as I wish everyone the very best for the holiday season. Thank you.